Okay, boys and girls, we are on seven, oops, not seven, we're on eight, and we're going to do lesson two and three today. So these are all about angles and different angle sizes. So I want to talk about them, okay? We're going to review them real fast. The first one I want to start with is this one. And a lot of times we mark it like this. What type of angle is this? You're right, it's a right angle. Good job. Who remembers how much it's worth? How many degrees is it? Remember, degrees is what we measure in. It's worth 90 degrees. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like in a circle because we're going to use it circles a lot in today's lesson. So I have a circle, not my best circle, but that's okay. A right angle would look like this. Right here, that's zero degrees. A right angle would look like this, that's 90 degrees. So it would be like this, and then like if I colored this in. This is that 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna draw it so you can see that. Okay, my 90 degree angle. Now an angle that is smaller than 90 degrees like this is called what? An acute angle. And it's smaller than 90 degrees. So if I was to draw a circle, remember, this represents zero degrees, straight up represents 90 degrees, an acute angle could look like this. I could fill it in if I wanted to to show you that space, that space right there. Or, an acute angle could have also been like that. That's still smaller than 90 degrees. It could even go clear up like this where it's so close to 90 degrees. But there's still this little smidgen left. Anything smaller than 90 degrees is going to be considered an acute angle. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is an angle bigger than 90 degrees. What's that called? It's called an obtuse angle. And so if I was to draw that in this circle, remember, Right here, 90 degrees. Right here with zero degrees. An obtuse angle has to be bigger than 90 degrees. So it could be like this. And I could color it in. It could even be like this. Or like that, which that one's pretty close to the next one. It has to still be less than 180 degrees. 180 degrees is like this. So as long as it's more than 90, meaning it goes past the 90, but it stays smaller than the 180, that could be an, an obtuse angle. There's a reason it can't be exactly 180 or more than 180. And I'll explain that now. It can't do that because this right here, which looks just like what? It looks just like a line. It's called a straight angle because it creates a straight line. 
and this is worth exactly 180 degrees. So if you ever see a line like this, guess how many degrees it is? It's 180 degrees. Good job. So if I was to draw it in a circle, remember, right here was zero degrees, all the way up was 90 degrees, all the way across is 180 degrees. So right here could be that straight line. So that would be 180 degrees. That's my straight angle. Now for this next one, it is called a reflex angle. So I want to teach you real fast something about angles. We've said all along, this right here is our starting point, and it's zero degrees. If I get to right here, I'm at 90 degrees. I go down, I'm at 180 degrees. And then if I keep going all the way till I get back to zero, I went 360 degrees. For my next angle, Okay, for my next angle, it's called a reflex angle. And it is anywhere that is less than 360, but more than 180. So, here's my starting point. If I went clear around until I got right to here, guess what? That I call a reflex angle. It was more than 180, but still less than 360. Okay, but I could also have an angle like this. And guess what? That would be a reflex angle. I could also have an angle like this, where all this filled in section is the angle, and that's a reflex angle because it was more than 180, but still less than 360. Okay? The last one would be this. If I had a circle and I started at zero degrees and went all the way around and finished it and went to 360, so the whole angle takes up this whole circle. Guess what we call that? We call it a circle! Crazy! Okay, circles have 360 degrees in them. Okay, that's just a quick overview of angles and a little bit about their degrees. Okay, if you have questions, message me. I would probably draw each type and put the degree. So I'm going to do that for you real fast with you. So here, oh, let's see. Before I start, I'm going to divide this. So one, two, three. So you guys can draw this on a paper so you can start memorizing this. It's going to be important to know. Okay? We have an acute angle. It looks like this. It's smaller than 90 degrees. Then you have an angle like this. This is a right angle. It is exactly 90 degrees. It will never be more. It will never be less. Your next one could look like this. We call it an obtuse angle. It's more than 90 degrees. But it's also less than 180. Don't forget that. Okay? The next one, we call it a straight angle, just like that. It will all 
always be 180 degrees, never more, never less. The next one could look like this meaning this right here, that angle, this whole outside part, okay? Not this section, the outside part. That we call a reflex angle. It's more than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. And the last one will be this one right here. It is a circle and it's 360 degrees. If I were you, I'd pause the video now, write this out, you could draw it, whatever you want. This is something really important that you're going to want to memorize, so I would really write this out. Okay, please pause it, please write it down, start memorizing the angle name, the amount, so sometimes it's exact, sometimes it's like smaller than or more than, okay? And I'd start memorizing them. Okay, bye.